Welcome back, everybody, to the Spooky Season Special. I hope all of you guys are still in the Spooky Season mood, because if you're not, then you definitely need to get yourself checked in. Today, we're going to be talking about one of my all-time favorite Japanese horror films, and that film is Audition, released in 1999, the year I was born. And in this film, we follow a middle-aged widower who enlists the help of his film producer friend to stage a fake audition in order to meet a new girlfriend, only to find that the dark past of the woman woman he chooses severely affects their relationship. If you're somebody like me who went through a phase of watching the most fucked up and disgusting movies ever made, movies like Necromantic, Salo, or a Serbian film, Cannibal Holocaust, then chances are you have probably either heard of or even watched Audition. I remember when I first discovered this film, it was a movie that I definitely had a lot of interest after seeing the poster itself, but I just never got around to watching it until eventually when I was shopping at my local Zia Records, which is the store I always go to when I buy my movies, I ended up seeing this exact Blu-ray and told myself, fuck it, I'm gonna buy it. I ended up putting it in that same exact night, and within the first 30 minutes of the movie, I kind of just checked myself out. I really didn't get the film, I didn't understand what the hype was, and I just kind of had it on my shelf for the longest time. I was just very naive back then and wasn't willing to give this movie a chance, but I fucked up. That's one thing I'll say. I fucked up because this movie is a masterpiece. I understood exactly what the director was trying to convey specifically with all the social commentary that he was trying to tell about misogyny. The way men look at women, the way women look at men. Very similar to some of the best horror films like The Exorcist. This film is smart and it knows exactly what is actually scary. It's not just people getting killed or anything like that. It really has to do with real human emotion and drama because this movie really does start off more as a drama. We are introduced to our main character in the beginning of the film, saying goodbye to his wife as she dies of cancer, and then we cut to many years later, and now he has a great relationship with his son, he's very successful in the company that he works with, and because of that, this movie really does get under my skin in the best way possible, because our main character, for the most part, is a very well-mannered and stand-up guy, and seeing him do this thing where he's auditioning women because he wants to marry somebody, Somebody, is a really shitty thing to do. But we still sympathize with him because we understand that he still does have a good heart and he is a really stand-up and great person. But it's just that one aspect that he does in this film that really does make me feel very uncomfortable. And it leads into the introduction of Asami, who in my opinion is one of the most disturbing antagonists ever put into a horror film or just put into a film ever. This actress is fucking phenomenal. Right down to that entire sequence that takes place in her apartment where she's just sitting there and her life has just been limited to just sitting nearby a phone and there's that bag in the background and that entire scene where the bag moves is one of the most scariest scenes ever put into a movie. And if you've seen this movie, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. There's also a scene in this movie that I can't watch anymore, and if I were to ever watch this film again, I would probably fast forward from that. It involves a character eating from a bowl, and what exactly they're eating from that bowl, and then finding out that what they're eating from the bowl is exactly what they were eating in real life. Um, and once again, if you've seen the movie, then you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, they were really eating that. Huh. <laughs> I mean... That's some dedicated method acting. And as many of you guys know, there is a torture sequence in this film, and by today's standards, it is pretty tame, especially with the Saw movies. But surprisingly, I have no problem watching all the torture sequences in those Saw movies because they are kind of done very cartoonish and almost kind of a dark humor-esque. And Audition doesn't really have gore in the film. It's mostly suggested and off-screen, and you just see the aftermath. But even with that, I still find myself cringing and looking away every time that scene happens, which I won't get into any spoilers, but... <sighs> Let's just say I have no problem getting a tattoo, uh, but the way needles are used in this movie... 
Oh, holy fucking shit. There are so many things about this movie that I would really love to talk about because I can honestly sit here for two hours just dissecting Audition, but I do know that there are a lot of people that probably haven't seen Audition, so if you guys have never seen Audition, I highly recommend you watch it, but if you have a very weak stomach, I would suggest not having this on your list, um, but if you're actually trying to go on a diet, then maybe watch this movie. Maybe watch the last 30 minutes of this movie a couple times and you'll start to lose weight eventually. It can happen. <laughs> I'm gonna give Audition an A+. Guys, thank you so much as always for watching my reviews. Look forward to more coming for the Spooky Season Special, and I will see you guys next time in the new video. Peace.